Today, a quick update on where we're planning to take the channel over the next few weeks. Hello again, I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Just a very quick video today. It's been a busy old week as we've been doing our analysis, but we've also in the background been doing some further work to develop our social media strategy. And in fact, you got a double dose yesterday, so this is just a very short video tonight, just giving an update on what we're doing. So the first thing we did this week was to launch our separate podcast service, which is available via iTunes and other services. I'm going to put a link below to the iTunes channel if you want to subscribe there. The idea is that we will use the audio from our videos and also from time to time make custom programs just for our podcasts. So far we've had uh, nearly 3,000 people use the podcast service in the five days that it's been launched so it's going quite well. And interestingly as we've seen the numbers rising on the YouTube channel the interest in our programs has also now taken off via podcast as well. The second thing that we're doing is we're beginning to explore the options around streaming live. And we do have now the facility to do that. And so what we plan to do in coming days is to run the occasional live streaming program rather than the pre-recorded version. Now the idea of that is that we will advertise it well in advance and we'll try and pick a time when people are around and perhaps we can then answer some of the questions that people have been posing live rather than in the chat below the videos. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks you'll see that uh, up and running. We've already got the system there and we know that we can stream so now we just need to put the other bits together to be able to make the program look reasonably good. And then the third thing that we're going to do is start answering some of the long list of topics and subjects that people have been posing in the comments below. Been very grateful for all of those comments, some really interesting discussions that have been going on. And so the idea is that we will now take some of that information and produce some additional information around some of those topics. So thank you very much for suggesting new things to talk about and I've got a really long list, so we'll get round to them in due course. And a reminder, of course, that tomorrow we'll be publishing our weekly property imperative, which is the digest of the latest finance and property news. There's a hell of a lot to talk about, not least all of the new predictions of falling house prices, the latest data from CoreLogic showing how the top end of the market is beginning to crash, whilst the bottom end of the market is being supported, and some of the new initiatives that uh, builders and developers are now deploying around the country to try and persuade, encourage, bribe people to get into the market. So join me tomorrow for the Property Imperative Weekly. The final thing to say just on this short video tonight is we've now got 1,700 subscribers. So we've been <laughs> still growing, which is great. And of course, now the next uh, objective is to get above 2K. And by the way, for those who have asked, I have actually turned on monetization, at least I've applied, but we're still waiting for YouTube to turn it around and approve it. So, and they're saying probably by June. So at some point, monetization will get turned on. Anyway, I appreciate all your support and all your comments, and please keep them coming. If you've not subscribed already, do subscribe to the channel, uh, ring that bell and uh, make sure that you get alerted to all of the stuff that we put up on YouTube. I'm Martin North, the Prince of Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.